uh, Dynamics 365 Business Central is the product we're looking at. There are several products in the Dynamics family. There's several products in the Dynamics 365 family. So Business Central is specifically what we're looking at today. It is fully integrated with the Office suite of applications as well as the back office. So I'm gonna talk a lot about um, at the beginning here about those integration points. I'm gonna show you the integration points so that you can see uh, what this product actually looks like um, uh, in terms of integration points. This is a SaaS product, means software as a service. What that means for you as an end user is that Microsoft maintains 100% of the application for you. So although it is in Azure, you do not need to manage any of the Azure services associated with your business central tenant. So Microsoft takes care of all of that. I do wanna just open up the admin portal here. This is a way for uh, either you to, as a client to administer the business central application, or we can do that too. Our support team obviously uh, helps a lot of our clients administer their application. Uh, a couple things I just want to note here. Um, the first is that you do have the ability to have multiple uh, types of environments set up. So uh, part of your license allows you to have a production system, a couple sandbox environments. Uh, sandbox environments, uh, we can take a copy of your production environment to create a sandbox environment. Sandboxes are used for training, development purposes, testing, etc. cetera. Um, this is also where you'd manage the upgrade process. Uh, Microsoft will typically upgrade your sandbox prior to your production environment, so you can just test things out, uh, get a look at the preview features, et cetera, before uh, actually going live. So a lot of stuff you can do in the admin center, but again, just pointing out multiple uh, types of environments that you're able to have here. You do have the ability to create them right within the application. Again, I can copy my production environment to create a sandbox environment. Um, oftentimes asked about database backups, you do have access to create a database export from within the admin center. So full access to your data anytime you want it. Um, there are other mechanisms within Business Central to get data in and out of the application. So this is not how you do it, let's say a database import or something like that. This is purely from an admin perspective to say, you know, I want a copy of my database. Yes, uh, take a copy of it from there. Um, other stuff you can do in the admin center, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it, but uh, just again, this is the admin uh, section of the application. So back to Business Central. SaaS-based product, um, primary user interface is web-based. So we currently support Internet Explorer, Edge, Firefox, Chrome, as well as Safari. So I have implemented Business Central with two uh, clients whose primary user base were uh, on a Mac. So they uh, ran Safari, not any issues with uh, running Business Central. We do have two apps that are available to download. They're free, no additional licensing cost. They run on um, iOS devices, Windows devices, and um, uh, let's see, iOS, Windows, and Android. So uh, not a problem. Um, download the apps, they're free. You can uh, put them on your phone, on your tablet, uh, full access to the application. Primary uh, you know, issues that people have is just screen real estate. So yeah, I can process a check, I can post to journal entries, uh, et cetera, if I wanted to. Um, you know, a little hard to do on your phone, but uh, as I have often said, you can sit in Aruba and post journal entries and cut checks if you wanted to. Um, uh, the phone, it's functional in that in that sense to be able to do that. 